Today's provocations by the North triggered quick and strong condemnations from South Korea, the U.S., and Japan. As it comes despite U.N. sanctions and global efforts to halt the regime's nuclear and weapons ambitions, today's episode is raising concerns that what's been deemed the toughest set of sanctions Pyongyang has ever seen just may not be enough to stop North Korea from further provocations. Then what? Our Connie Kim reports. The international community condemned North Korea's latest provocation with one ballistic missile flying some 800 kilometers before falling into the sea off its east coast on Friday morning. South Korea's defense ministry called the launch a threat to peace in the international community. Our military takes the development of North Korea's nuclear and missile programs seriously. And Pyongyang's missile launch is a frontal attack against the UN Security Council resolution and a significant threat to peace and stability in the international society. Seoul said it'll push for follow-up measures on a UN Security Council level, pressuring the regime that it cannot survive if it does not give up its nuclear ambitions. The U.S. Pentagon called the launch a clear violation of multiple U.N. Security Council resolutions and called on North Korea to refrain from actions that further raise tensions in the region. Washington's State Department added the U.S. remains steadfast in its commitment to the defense of its allies, including South Korea and Japan. Tokyo quickly launched a protest with North Korea through its embassy in Beijing as one of the North Korean mid-range missiles launched on Friday hit waters within the Japanese air defense identification zone. Speaking in Parliament, Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe condemned Pyongyang's actions and warned of any further provocations. While demanding strongly that North Korea show restraint, we are making doubly sure that we can respond to any situation with all means, including strengthening our surveillance systems. North Korea's mid-range ballistic missile launches came following Pyongyang's claim that it has succeeded in miniaturizing a nuclear warhead to fit on ballistic missiles and claimed to have acquired missile re-entry technology. Seoul is keeping a close eye on the regime's moves as it sees a fifth nuclear test to be a possibility. Connie Kim, Arirang News.